Okay, so I'm gonna record. I'm gonna video record this. I'm not happy about it. I'm really angry about taking note of it because when I'm angry, I'm not really. What I do is I want to see. I want the world to see through me, idiot. I want the world to see through me, animal. I want to see the world through me, not in me, in yourself. You got to, you got to understand. Not in me, but through me, in yourself. That's why I talk like this. When you when you see me talking about some heavy subjects, this is going to be extremely heavy subject. That's exactly what I do. Disgusting. I don't know if there's ever anything was so disgusting, but I know that the people who have done it in the name of socialism, communism, there was no socialists, there was no communists in this stuff. Uh, I was clear about this Yugoslavia. This, this, was, this was a crime, this was all corruption. This was just a greater ethnic Serbian state. That's all there was. It was extermination camp within the borders of several insane nations that have uh, gathered themselves into into idea known as uh, Yugoslavia. That's all there was. But I'm just saying, yeah. Uh, don't think that I'm not going to touch Vatican issues because. How the fuck can you go, whether you're German or Italian or Spanish or British or American, you know, God-fearing people about it, about the stuff like this? How how the fuck you go and you watch this and and how, you know, let me tell you something, whether you're, you see yourself as a communist or you see yourself as a God-fearing Christian or whatever, if there is God and I have to thank him because I'm still here somehow I'm pretty certain if there is a higher power somewhere this planet is going to be annihilated there's no fucking future for this planet in my opinion <laughs> um, I don't have a proof of God but maybe based on what I have made it through maybe I am a proof of God maybe i sincerely believe in one but do not believe in any of you not in a communist not in a god-fearing christians i think that you are so fucking fake disgusting people that any of you that claims that pertains to whichever political option is just a little goofy fuck liar who acknowledges exactly what I stated daily right through the mirror observing himself in it if you participated in this shit you are up to no fucking good you're up to no fucking good what angers me the most is that the people who have done this stuff It's just, look, this is just a little bit too heavy topic. I did wrote about what their ultimate plans was. And I'm trying to look as disgusting as possible. I'm trying to look as insane as possible. So that the world can see through me itself what one have created. I'm really not here to give you a rational YouTuber feedback. By the way, I think people that are the most voracious, insanely insane people <laughs> that just leave basically to prove their fucking theories 
for the cost of, in this case, 28 years of life, screwed, deleted, wiped out. In this case, corrupt criminal network, the most disgusting creatures developed based in London beyond imaginable that's why i said that if there is a higher force out there and knows about this this higher force also knows that not that there's no hope for humanity but this is fucking despicable place this earth i'm not enthusiast of uh, humanity as i have seen during mk ultra maybe the most disgusting of it all and I'm sure it is, nothing can disgust you more than your own family and the neighbors and the village people that are around you, basically in your surroundings. I don't think that any anybody anybody can, can be more disgusting. I'm going to give you a little story today about cancer, about what I refer to as in the past as human experimentation you know in 2010 when i was creating some funny blog i i didn't know what what how to tell all this to the world because it's too much how you do this man this this shit is it's giant and um i i kind of figure out that this world is so disgusting that There's got to be a way around. There's there's got to be a shortcut. There's got to be something I can do to to make this short. Because even I I realize that even if I would go and write a complaint, want to write a complaint, I would need this is this is a big ass complaint. This is not this is and this is not an easy thing. This is not a Prince Harry's book. It's it's a lot of stuff that's involved in it. I would need professional editors. I would need people. To read to ask questions discuss and then have them basically write exactly the way i would want see myself in it together with them so that we could go through this stuff because it's like writing and stuff is like, like enormous amount of energy i don't even know as i say it a testimony to a humanity is this this is fart basically it's worded fart it's not worth it even no, and I have a lot to tell, and there is not there is not much to to share really. Based on what you're gonna hear today, you're gonna see how disgusting this crime really was. In 2010, I, in respect to cancer issues, that's all. I didn't. I'm not gonna be discussing other issues. In 2010, I refer myself to as human experimentation animal. And it was probably bizarre, insane, uh, just exactly the way I wanted. Because the world was so normal. Everything was so, so, so normal on a surface. Is this world, uh, I, I don't know how they have managed to dry one so insane, but it appears to me that over the course of the time there was a good a decent amount of work they have done on, on general public and people and bring about idea in people develop idea in people to hide the social crime um and it's is this is this crime that have progressed over the course of the time regretfully so to say since the world war ii ended to some crazy degree when drugs would be used on people to alter their lives and uh, you know I wish it was only that if that's not disgusting enough obviously what I came to conclusion about as yesterday have written on my new site Develop ethnic cleansing based on
even crime they have created against other races, against other ethnicities, and literally use one in the name of human rights and justice to wipe out those whom neighbors right here in Europe whom they have not managed to somehow wipe away in the past. Yeah, I think this was like enormously developed, this strategy, this by exactly using those whom they have uncolonized and killed in mass. Uh, I've came to realize that this technology, this MK Ultra, that this is uh, all this. This it was it was a procedure that advanced over greater amount of time and has got a specific goal. It's got a specific purpose, which I think that I pointed out. I think that this stuff would not even happen, and you know, Illuminati timed absolutely everything if. We wouldn't have something like this coming on a large scale. No. So I think I think it's gonna be I think I think something is gonna happen. I think it's gonna be a third world war. I think it's gonna be something big because this Illuminatis that started multiculturalism um you know at, in the name of tolerance and justice and so on and so forth. Uh, I, I think they have some completely different plan behind now. I think there's something else going on. So I think this is going to develop into something else. There's the people they involved against me. Uh, in a big way, they, they involved them based on their ignorance. They, they In a big way, they have involved them against me based on people's inability to discern between what reality was what not corruption and stuff like this you know but now the truth came out so now these people that were involved in it now the world knows that exactly what happened how it all that stuff progressed how it was all done so you know but the way they designed you know the way they told me in 2017 you know talking about the germans regretfully talking about british talking about americans Claimed me that I'm going to have a difficulty to match the performance of my 85-year-old mother. Uh, it was to me it was this was the most idiotic thing when they claimed me this. This I was in a complete disbelief. It basically tells me that the the time when I was needed for this kind of crime to progress, when I was needed. Uh, you know, in the name of uh, you must identify, you know, but the people help you, you know, the people invested uh, effort. This is no way we can let it go because there were so many people involved in that. And you must just, this didn't, first of all, none of these people involved in it demanded for me to have a cancer. All through, they claim me that they voted the people that were involved in it or to give me a cancer or not. That's bullshit. The cancer started already in 19, 1995. It started surgically with stabbing my body with a needles, center foot, uh, arms, and whatever else they have done to it. The life in MK Ultra, at least about, I estimate, 10% of the time I have spent inside of the hospitals. So that probably gives you some information that if you spend 10% of the 100% of the time inside of the hospitals where they are doing all kinds of procedures on you, examinations and stuff like this, that something here is not fucking straight, is it? As much as I don't know how much you were aware of it. So this is this is one thing for me important to declare because today I'm going to talk to you about I am I I spoke about being a human experiment animal I spoke to you about being uh, uh, butchered and uh, tortured and stuff like this well the thing is that I don't think that any of this applies because exactly what I stated to you a little, just a little earlier you know I think that 
Okay, cool. Charging. What I have written on a news site yesterday about the Germany, about how they attempted to undermine by involving in crime certain people, certain ethnicities, races whom they have imported to the Europe. Great idea to recognize me, to get me recognized, you know. It's it's about recognizing, you know. That's their language. Their language is about recognizing the crime. What what I can tell you is that I am not even worthy to be recognized if I go to their language, recognized uh, by another European ethnicity, you know, they guaranteed you're gonna get married uh, with some lady from somewhere else and so on and uh, you know it's gonna be it's gonna, they're gonna be a recognized and recognized i came to realize and there's nothing you can do it's gonna have to be this way that's the only way that's gonna that's how it's gonna be and this and that i came to recognize that when you do something like this involving people whom you have murdered on a large scale like let's say with through opium there was a genocide in china you committed and you committed genocide in, in india and you committed genocide in africa and you committed genocide over there you know throughout entire asia you know indonesia you know you name it philippines all over the place you know united states of america and down to mexico latino america south america and so on and you're going to be fucking using these people basically to apologize my existence here in europe excuse me from the crime that you have created you got to be fucking kidding me you got to be fucking kidding me uh what are you trying to say okay in my terms in my view that's why i'm saying this was no torture this was no this was no uh <laughs> this was no torture this was this was this was this was this was uh this was a just uh, a butchery this was just a killing based on butchery that's all there was and if somehow you would manage to survive god forbid it's going to be some other ethnicity race that's going to save you in your own continent in your own country that is the only way. And if I take the calculator in my hands, because this is what you are in Norway and in Germany and in Britain and elsewhere, Holland, that tells me that you calculated the relationship between those whom you have exterminated in the past on a large scale. would use them to undermine existence of those of your neighbors in eastern europe whom you have attempted to wipe out completely already in the past through the final solution like adolf hitler referred to that as yeah so now you have you have created uh, issues that had nothing to do with the ability of an individual being insane as you refer to me as eh, you're fucking crazy eh, he's insane fuck this yeah, I was insane in Asia, I was insane in Africa, in South America and Northern America and across the European continent. Everywhere, Mideast, everywhere I was insane. There was something wrong with this guy. Because he just couldn't fucking come out and say this, you know, and he was meeting all these people, royal people and all that stuff. You know, and he just couldn't say, never mind all that other stuff, psychiatry and all those death threats. And even was thrown inside a psychiatric hospital in 2013, once I started to talk about MK Ultra. Never mind that stuff. I was just fucking insane. When they no longer could hide the crime, the only thing that happened was I was thrown inside of the psychiatric hospital. When the crime became evident, when I totally pointed out there was no way to dispute one anymore 
then it was they triggered the game you know as they played to me inside of the room this song from Travolta staying alive staying alive staying alive and laughing ah ha 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 ah ha ha and, and I was always happy as long as I saw happy people around me I no fucking idea that this was the evil to a degree that I would experience in, in, in 2017 when I was what the fuck it was all about, you have to prove existence of MK Ultra. You have to identify people. You have to identify buildings. You have to identify locations. So on. All of a sudden, you're going to have a difficulty. You're going to have the difficulty to stay alive. You're going to have a difficulty to match the performance of your 85-year-old mama. And I was still, ah, ha, ha. I was still laughing at that stuff. Drugged up out there. Top-notch idiot I was. No. I wasn't top-notch idiot. I was just somebody who turned conscience to the crime for the benefit of the criminals. And I did this consciously. And then there is a price to pay. Then there is a price to pay. Wrong people, sorry. Just need you to understand how this came about. Because then I was even compared to What's his name was Armstrong or Louis Armstrong, I think. Who really didn't know what the fuck went on, how the sea borrowed him. A musician. You become you become worth nothing, really, through this. This is not dehumanization procedure. This is exactly what I stated yesterday on my news site. No, this is nothing against the multiculturalism, but in this case, multiculturalism served Nazism, fascism. The idea, in my case, using multiculturalism was exactly as I stated. There was no, there was no, there was no second or third or whatever anything that would uh there's really nothing that possibly could apologize the immensity of the crime the insanity the rage that these chosen people have exercised against me uh with idea to undermine me basically make me like a straight dog life word less of the cat look like right in front of the world this is no you don't do this stuff like this to a human being you don't do this stuff like this not even to animals if you don't do it to animals then as i stated a little earlier um the one who saw it the one that knows it, there's somebody definitely must be took a close note of this would really 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 resent me if i would have seen it any other way because he was the one who brought me to this world you didn't brought me to this world this house here was before you came to slovenia ever and the factories over there and people and so on you didn't discover america here you are not amerigo vaspuches Sorry, I have to disappoint you, Western Europeans. My family from both sides is chasing in area around here for quite some time, for quite a few generations, can be traced back. I know that you have this law in Sweden and in Norway when you when you have to write everything from what family and everything, like a Hitler had this law that it prohibited marriages within your race, within your ethnicity, with others and so on. And, uh, you know, I'm going to say to you, that's okay. I left the United States of America and 
when you derived, denied me the right to stay and in Germany and in Norway and in Sweden and in Belgium and you know the only thing I did was I I packed my stuff Canada and I left that's all that was I never came to your countries to do harm to you in absolutely any way didn't want to have nothing to do with the politic in the first place didn't want to meddle in any any politics and I was always there to support you know whatever your country is uh, stood up your people stood up for never never went after anybody but did you come here to this country here and you think you're gonna start to undermine the principle of my existence uh, that's not that's not about discrimination come on that's about extermination no I don't have anything against multiculturalism I think that in a way I'm actually even grateful it kind of opened my eyes I I got to see some incredibly beautiful ladies and across the Asia and South America and uh, so on and so forth. Uh, however, I will kind, kindly decline, you know, your most sincere um, A multicultural solutions based also on what I was taught the case comes when it's over uh, and they started to brainwash me I was another stage when you're gonna get the money and this and that and then you have to where do we invest the money we invest the money uh, where we are where do we invest the money we invest the money where our people are where do we invest the money we invest the money uh where we can prosper our region where do we invest the money we invest the money uh la 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 really if you will invest the money if, if you will invest the money over there then there will be no money if you will marry this one if it's not going to be the white one then it's going to be then it's going to be only so much and so much money if you will this you will that really fuck hey but why didn't you specify this kind of stuff already back then in in 95 so that we would understand each other better i mean this is these are not the preconditions you have given to 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 elon musk or any other people for that matter whom you have loaded with the money this this is not you didn't you didn't tell these people that that's how it's going to be and you know something i got to be honest with you uh, let's say mark zuckerberg he is an american he is from the united states of america he got married to priscilla a beautiful chinese woman uh with whom he has a children and everything but you know something this is United States of America. United States of America, this was, for me, was the same like as Norway or like as Sweden. This was just a transfer station. You come there and what we do is we load you with somebody convenient for us. Then what we do is we send you back to your country and that's how we spend our criminal network. So you're going to get the money if I understand this properly. As long as we're going to administer one, as long as we have a complete control over one, you're not obviously going to invest one in Asia, not in Africa, not in South America, not... Where, where, where then? Oh, okay. So wherever the fuck you say, it's convenient, it's the right thing. It's what we invest in ourselves, right? Now what we do is, well, what the fuck we do is, we go like this, right? We go broke soon. We go like this. And never mind your investments in Asia, all your stores from Lidl, from Hofer, from Kik, from all your stores that you have. Why did you, why are all the products coming? Walmart, Kmart, all this. Why is it all coming from Asia? But for me, it's we invest where? Where do we invest? What kind of school the fuck is this? When it was convenient for you, for me, to be a Nazi, 
I was your Nazi. When it was convenient for you, for me to be a multiculturalist, you want a complete control over my money. That's how you build this. This this whole thing, this whole thing was a crime and network through Christ, basically. You created some kind of Christ that you have seen yourself, that you wanted people to see in yourself. And you started to break the societies, countries throughout the entire world, from Asia to Africa to, to South America to all over the fucking place, and build all kinds of issues uh, through which people, of course, see as a number one issue a money, a source of income. And so you, you started to, just like a case was with Andrew Tate, Tate, Andrew Tate, you started to build a criminal, it's like a call center, like a criminal call center, like a crime on a steroids that you started to finance, basically, that you, you, started, you, you started the engine to undermine countries, basically. Andrew Tate was, his call center was actually espionage. The whole thing was espionage. And as much as Andrew Tate was sure, he was certain that it's a, to bust, you know, they loaded him with the issues, how it's going to be great, this is going to be... Um, he went on to post some racial comments on a Twitter, I think, or whatever, to, to create a profile about himself. How they drove him nuts, you know? Uh, you're going to post comments like this, and what you're going to do is you're going to... You're going to create an idea about yourself as you're being like a macho man that spanks the lady over there in London. And this big brother show, he, when he smacked the lady on her ass, was a little bit disrespectful deliberately. So that he could get a reputation such prior to departure to Romania, where he was like a big boss, like, you know, treat woman with a belt and uh, also have some racial comments to tell you about. Which is really nothing, nothing about Andrea. But the thing is, the thing is that you created this kind of profile to the guy, the one who got fucked into this. It was not Romanian criminals, as you told me. It's going to be Romanian criminals with all kinds of people. I guess you know we can create a profile like this. Americans drilled me on that, and then we sent people like this to other countries and this and that, and then. And then, you know, they see themselves through that, a plane, a car, this and that. And it's people like this over there, and a little bit racial, a little bit spank this, a little bit weird. Oh, it fits my profile. That's how the FBI figure out the FBI. The FBI, how about the SS Luftwaffe or something like this? SS. What about Gestapo? Huh? You're no fucking FBI. You're a fucking Gestapo. I'm going to tell you what the fuck you are. You are Gestapo boys. It didn't have nothing to do. It didn't have nothing to do with. With what you brainwashed me. And I'm sure that's what. Andrew Tate saw himself in. It's got everything to do with. It all depended on a customer. Eh? But everything. Everything had to do with undermining Romanian government. And it had the same shit, the same recipe applied to all other countries. Is one big fucking central intelligence agency MI5 operation on every fucking country in Europe. That's how you did everybody in Europe. And including, as you used to send me to Ukraine, all the countries in Asia, everywhere, it was always the same shit. You were building a crime network this thing don't worry the, the neo-nazi from romania or um whatever you call this or a gangster or whatever you had me catch gangsters over there in south america use me as a sting to lure uh, i don't know what's this guy that they just guzman the mexican <clears throat> mafia guy was lured through this kind of operation also and so on and so forth man this is just on a on a surface if the government is not performing 
Well, well, it's not necessary, Andrew. You know that this is what this was about. If the government we you sent is not performing the way somebody wants, it's not even about, you know, sniffing about what the country is about, but it's about undermining the whole fucking system, crashing one down afterwards through certain channels to certain people performing activities, espionage and so on that shouldn't be there. And then harass and, and intimidate people and all kinds of stuff like this. It's about the control. It's about the control of the world. This is what this shit was all about. And the, the money that I would get, the 1% of what I was told in 95 and in 96 and in 97 by these kingdoms and this great U.S. Bill of Rights and the U.S. Lady Constitution, this is just basically your money as long as you can keep this network together and take the orders basically and perform exactly whatever 1-800 London Cabal dictates you. I thought this was like a really, really important for me to declare what this case was all about. It took me some time to come to conclusion. You know, this video shouldn't even be about these issues. The, the, the races from Romania, if you, if you wonder about the races from Romania, the races from Romania, it all depends. It all depends, man, but you shouldn't worry about it. You're going to get new life, new, new ID over there in Britain if, if they're going to make you disappear like this publicly. If not, you know, then you're going to get something else and so on and so forth. This is none of your business. Information stays, however, with them. They go on, you go away. Through the network that they create, you disappear like, and you're nowhere around anymore. Papa! You're gone. That's the business. That's basically how it go goes. But the network consumes the whole fucking territories. Country by country. Region by region. Country by country. That's what this case is all about. Andrew. Tete. Just for you to understand what you, whom you have, what served, which probably you're sure, you're uh, sure enough that you knew about this. You're a smart man. Look, this video should have been about the cancer issues. I don't give a three fucks about that money anymore. I don't want that kind of money. This is this is not the money. This is not the money. There was also talk about how it's going to be. Uh, that you, it, it, it all depend. It will all depend if it's going to be the country that's going to compensate you, or it's going to be individuals that are involved in it. It's going to be these billionaires like Peter Thiel, like Elon Musk, or whatever. It's going. It's all going to depend. No, 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 no. You know what? It's not going to depend on anything. I ain't got nothing to do with Elon Musk, not with the Zuckerberg, not with the Thiel, not with. The, I don't need no fucking favors. I don't need no fucking favors. I ain't got no problem because of them. I got the problem because of the U.S. government. I got the problem because of the German state. I got a problem because of Norwegian state, because of Swedish state, because of Holland state. Not because of an individuals. I don't need no fucking favors. What are you going to pay me? Uh, a money, a compensation? Or, are you gonna, or am I going to owe you favors? For whatever fuck am I going to owe you favors for? You get the concept? These are all very, 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 very different things. If you jail somebody for fuck's sake, you don't have an Elon Musk come and... It's the state that pays the money. It's the money that state cannot touch. It's not your fucking money. That's because the judicial system, not Elon Musk, have failed, right? You, you correctly understand my point? Listen up. <clears throat> this video is not supposed to be about this stuff. I just give you a little bit idea about...
you're no fucking business to be in this house. You're no fucking business to be anywhere around me. You're no fucking business to surveillance me. You're no fucking business to know anything about me beyond my complaint I have submitted to you. Everything you needed, you already had before. You know, when I started to talk about MK Ultra and you hospitalized me and so on and so forth. Yeah, that was the time when you already have admitted the case as factual. You shouldn't have done that in the first place. You didn't need any more extra proofs. You just needed the stuff I'm going to be talking about today, and that's a cancer. You just needed not the school for death, but you just needed to realize, to, to, to make it happen, basically to kill me. There was nowhere specified the cancer, the thrombosis, the uh, even the spine breaking issues and such that I'm gonna have to that this is this is a part of the deal in ninety five and ninety six and ninety seven and so on. As you as you stated me, all of a sudden you you brought in the picture all the torture you you engaged against me for since ninety five in two thousand and seventeen. How it's gonna be? No, 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 sir. This was not part of the deal. This is your little extra in your little paragraph. This is not a human experimentation animal talking to you. This is just somebody that's not going to be controlled. Fuck you. You're going to tell me who am I going to marry. Who are you to tell me who am I going to marry and where am I going to invest my money and how I'm going to live and this and that? What kind of issues the fuck are this? Who the fuck are you? I told you, I have been here for some time from both sides of my family, so I can marry to whoever the fuck I want. I can get married to the black lady or Asian lady or South American lady or whoever the fuck I want. You know what this is, Slovenia here? You don't fucking tell person from European Union, from Strasbourg, from the Court for Human Rights, where the person is going to invest his money and whom the fuck is going to marry it. In my case, not even how many wives he's going to get married with. You don't do this to me. You put your nose in a stuff that's none of your fucking business. You need to worry about the complaint which you have deliberately neglected with the idea to get me killed. Because you at the United Nations, at the International Criminal Court, International Police Association, Amnesty, you guys are all coordinated with those guys from Brussels, from 1-800-London, from DC, Washington. I left the United States of America. I left Western Europe. I left you alone. You are not going to be coming here and making your own fucking rules on how it's going to be and even say maybe what now. Did you saved me and you're going to tell maybe the lady from uh, I don't know what country that uh, basically you helped her get wealthy through me you know about the criminal network that you control completely financial and all that stuff. Fuck you. That's not that was not part of the deal. If I would have been for sale like this, you wouldn't even be watching a video you're watching. If I would be for sale like this, if I would be a Christian, or if I would be a communist. You wouldn't be even watching this video right now. Fuck you. One and the other. I tell you, fuck you. All of you. I did this video because I am none of you. Because I don't see myself in any of you. Because you don't see yourself in yourself. When you go in front of the mirrors and you look at yourself, your Christian sign here, whatever, where is it you have? It doesn't pertain to you. It's just an image. It's just a fucking lie that you display when you go out there. And that other people 
associate themselves with. It's just some kind of insignia, some shit that you you just you know that you just love to display because you just want to see yourself as something, you know, as something different, as something I don't know what something. I have no idea. I told you that that if there is a higher force and have seen this, he must have have realized that what he have seen in this case is not worthy not worthy of his mercy and i am not this world because you in brussels made me you're not your mamas you're not my mamas and papas not you in washington either i've been here for some time you are not the one who brought me to this world i don't know you shit In respect to cancer issues, I was not detailed enough about that stuff. In respect to cancer issues, neighbor, Dr. Igor Kota, no, I'm not saying that he started this stuff. I'm not saying that he started this, that he was the one, the main. No. You will have to be a real inventor because I, rem I remember in 95, 1995, I remember Central Intelligence Agency, a physicians from the U.S. Congress that would come here. People such as, what is it, Ron, Ron Paul, that would, people like him, it was a bunch of physicians they had, that would literally not only gave the technology to them, but they would administer, literally administer how a physician, so doctors, teach them, tutor them, how to observe the readings of whatever the fuck they have. In Miami downtown, I was called a cellular roja by my friends, by my, my Peruvian friend used to call me cellular roja. Cellular roja, that means a red cell. A red cell is cancer-related stuff. Uh, you got different cells, and I I have to excuse myself. I didn't go into these issues. They got other stuff to do. I don't frankly care, because that's not going to solve shit to me. It's not going to save me. Based on which some kind of reading they have used, gave them immediately some kind of analysis and based on my memory it was a physician and i think it was quarter was also present but they also had other physicians who they had discussed with americans with giving them um a doubt yeah doubt is the proper word doubt means the question uh, if this is all this and this and that. And it was always American physicians who had way more advanced medical fields, obviously, than here in Eastern Europe, gave them a feedback as yes, it's always, always, always uh, because we did this means what was done to me, American government already have implemented against many other Americans. The physicians inside of the U.S. Congress, Americans, were in fact a butchers who already have engaged in a butcheries, in a cancer-related butcheries on other people, patients, British, and so on together with the British, it was already something that was already uh, a, a complete procedure that was already completely, completely developed medical procedure, therefore hijacked from Miami and brought here to Slovenia for butcheries, basically. I don't know how to refer to this shit. Readings were done through intraveno. Therefore, 
you had a needle and this needle remained attached to the body for duration of MKUltra uh, human experimentation. I think that if they took me elsewhere, there uh, probably wouldn't be one. I don't really know. Under MKUltra, you don't feel anything. Under MKUltra, you don't feel anything. This is terrible fucking procedure. I'm not going to forget the Belarus guy who went to United States of America. Is the first one in 98 to work. And he made, compared to the Belarus, astronomical amount of money. Literally through this case. It was some KGB guy got him job over there. That's how Putin got people involved in this crime. He opened them opportunities also with the West, where they would immigrate and make money. Uh, then uh, he would start repairing first his own home in Belarus and paint one. And in America, he would learn about such a substance as bleach. So he had a mold at home. And what they would do is they would start to bleach room. You know, and so, you know what he did? He fucking locked me, sometimes maybe in 99 or something like this, or 98, nine, 99, I think it was, 99, maybe even 2000, I don't know, inside of his uh, house, in the room we, which he, or, uh, he just freshly have um, But I don't know how in English I would say. Uh, well, he he killed black mold in it. Yeah, um, he neutralized mold in in the room. So bleached. Okay, he just bleached the fucking room. So you know what the fuck he did? He just left me inside the fucking room, and it was nasty the chemicals. But you know. I didn't even know what the fuck went on after some time. When they pushed me on Goryansi here, when they were taking me up, and it was beating, so on every 50 meters, 100 meters, they, they had people wait for me. This idea of the torture was to bring me all the way to the 1,250 meter high hill. And on every 50, 100 meters, they have had people that engage in crime against me, abuse. Uh, some lady pushed me down the fucking rocks. It was very, very bad. Uh, other than when I lost uh, a conscience uh, for a bit, whatever it was, blood all over the place, I don't remember anything. I... They didn't use... Um, they didn't use, they, they just, I, I walked all the way down, and it was an ambulance vehicle, and they took me to the hospital where they disappeared for some time, till they heal everything, and then like nothing happened. Me, must even some Roma guy here, Novo Mesto, who, they didn't believe that, that, that I'm drugged up. See, the people didn't believe that I'm drugged up. For them, it was like I'm real. Like, like I'm just going out there and doing shit on my own. Hit me in my stomach. Do you think that I feel the pain? No. So, I can tell you that during MK Ultra, I was to great degree resistant to the pain. Unless it was a pain that, that I couldn't be resistant to. It was a numbness. It was, uh, I can tell you that, that you are paralyzed to the certain percentage of sensitivity, such as to the issues that I have stated. However, when they were engaging in uh, electroconvulsive therapy, it's called a therapy. This is really not therapy because. I felt that it's going to split my brain from the pain. So this must have not been a fucking therapy. Not too therapeutical that when they use some kind of machine and they, they apply that stuff, and it was 
the pain it was it was impossible it goes right through you i mean it's 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 it makes you it's impossible to 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 describe the pain degree of pain that i did felt so to the certain degree you don't feel but then there is a certain level like a spectrum you would say that hell you feel stuff like that um you, you get an idea about this stuff how how what this was about and so you know when it comes to cancer I, I don't really know how they did this stuff. I don't know how they they absolutely did poisoned. Uh, if they wouldn't poisoned, once they they uh, they chronically they would they would they would develop injuries with a smaller shoes, the smaller size shoes, with a very tight socks, uh, with that kind of stuff, with shoes with a very poor uh, uh, bottom. So that cold would penetrate through and so on and make you walk on a on a cold on an icy road and stuff like this. Uh, but uh, in whatever was necessary to repeat this stabbing with a needle, they would repeat this stuff. But the thing is, so that they would create what they refer to as a knots. But I think also lymph nodes that they they uh, they injured badly too. Yeah. They undoubtedly have used a poison. Yeah. You take a bleach. That was not the only time, let's say. They would just lock me in areas like this. Uh, in consideration, then it comes to clear that using a poison or in MK Ultra was not a big deal. And the one really, really upset with me and obsessed with the idea to cause me also harm was no other than Prince Andrew. Who had a problem due to alcohol with his probably liver i have no idea and one replaced probably in exactly 2004. um didn't like idea that 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 i i refused to drink alcohol that i was obstinate that i was alcohol free he didn't like the idea he didn't like idea that I was maybe even insulted toward him, but I was insulted toward him because I didn't want Andrew to drink alcohol. I want Andrew to live as long as possible and to be in a good health and to have everything possible. As I say that the crime went on because I turned conscience to myself. You know, on a certain on a certain degree I deserved it. Because, because I ignored the crime against myself. But they are really good at that. They make you feel that you are part of the family and that kind of stuff. Uh, the thing is that the thing is that Dr. Igor Kotter, I have realized that he is measuring, taking samples every here and then, uh, equalizing you know equalizing okay equalizing you have this here equalizing means get to the neutral status maybe exactly a red cells something whatever was giving him the ability to see the presence of the cancer cells whatever which then were controlled also with uh, what they administer also anti-cancerous pills and stuff like this at the end of the sessions so that you go back to life like nothing really happened and then the whole fucking hollywood started to believe that that i'm the answer to their prayers um that through me that's going to be another uh, medication they're going to be developed and i'm going to be recognized because of this kind of stuff and so on and so forth They involved a lot of people with the cancer issues, and it was a lot of people who didn't have and don't have any fucking cancer, but got the readings from the cancer as having cancer uh, in case somebody would go after them uh, that claimed me that uh, got cancer because of me and so on and so forth. Yeah. 
the one with the cancer always that was Vladimir Putin if he even they talk about that he has a cancer I I wonder if he still even have one but okay they say that he has one okay while greatly accenting western medications thanks to which putin is alive yeah. okay uh you would get this reading whatever first it would be neutral status then they would test the products they would test the products from stores that would come here uh stores that were here either that be italian uh, Eurospin that came here or Aldi or actually Hofer or um, Lidl uh, the most disgusting of them all it's too much disgusting maybe <clears throat> the neighbors here from the village that two houses wouldn't only come to realize whether the product was safe or not to use in respect to American Food Administration that was deeply involved in this crime but further what was interesting and also told professed to mention obviously which house is safe and which one is not there were two houses here in the village because the farm local farmers here local village people the products they were using buying in the stores and so on they all wanted them tested on me can we test this can we test that can we oh can you also test this one and so on this was a fucking frequent and the only thing it was you know uh, which houses are safe in which are not and there were two houses one house which they apparently even disallowed to bring their samples for have them test on me so what is the most disgusting to you maybe is it more disgusting the family the neighbors around you that you engaged in your co-workers all your life before this shit started that do disgusting stuff on you like this that cooperate see themselves through in you that's what they see in you they see human experimentation animal they they don't see human being they see shit. the same pretty much in a sense uh, as you know is done in the labs experimenting on people that they have excuse ready because you are a Nazi because you are a Nazi nothing matter what happened here what family am I from or whatever the the torture they have done in the villages and stuff that's what they have done it for so that I would see myself in a Nazism so they would have an excuse so that's why I said that that, that listen don't fucking come in my face the people from the village of this Karka village here don't don't fucking come in. you are nicely locked inside of your homes when i go on the street stay the fuck inside don't come and say hey 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 we got nothing really to say each other you know when you stop when you when you do the stuff like this the person i see you also as something but not as a human don't fucking come in my face you know, Petterlin here, a neighbor. I told him, "Can we, Mamo? Can we? Can we do this one too?" I told him, well, "Listen, but with you, this stuff. You know what you're doing to me. You, you're testing these things on me. And you know, what about if I'm gonna have a cancer?" And, uh, and he said, "He said, uh, eh, they have a drugs. They're gonna give you drugs and so on." I was. This guy fucking grew up with me since childhood. 
This was my pal in the kindergarten. <laughs> the fuck you go and you do stuff. You see the yeah. Oh, this is this is this is this is not the proof of the communism. This is not the proof of Vatican, and this is not the proof of Christians down to earth, man. You know what the fuck you did, all of you? Do you know what you have created at all? That's what I said to myself this morning. I said to myself, you know, the one who brought me here, for me to be here. Hmm. That one definitely is not going to see himself in you guys. Never mind me. But in you, that one... Whatever it is that you claim that you are, he's not going to see himself in. For me, that also was not a purpose. For me, it was not a purpose for me to go down and submit myself on knees in front of your imbecility, because imbeciles is what you are. And so it was intraveno. It would take samples and see, count, obviously there's a reading would count as whatever, and that's how they would get. What about the Slovenian police? How did Slovenian police this stuff engineered? I was severely sleep deprived. I would go at times a week without the sleep, walking back and forth like a zombie, even two weeks one time. It was a neighbor here, Andre Ul, who told me. He said, if you're not going to go immediately to sleep and sleep at least 24 hours, you're going to be dead, your heart. Luckily, I did. I don't know how long the fuck that tour was without sleep. How about Slovenian police? Slovenian police tortured always into delirium. Now, you're drugged up, you're under MK Ultra, the drugs are applied to you, but and paralyzed to a great degree. So, I would say that these drugs are certain paralyzators. They take away from you, they deprive you of the sense, they deprive you also of the physical uh, ability to sense. You know, the pain you will realize if, like, you walk. On the street with the smaller shoes and stuff like this. I was 24, 25 when I was brought here crying because the problem is that after a few hours, this pain motivates your brain so much that you pay too much attention to it and it fucks up your veins on your leg and that injury, those knots, it just multiply and that start to fuck your system your bloodstream system and those kind of issues and you develop the thrombosis they develop on you and that kind of stuff that's what the fuck i'm talking about uh you will pay attention to you you understand you you will pay the attention to you will complain about it yeah uh but other than that i would go and just you know They would have me wear diapers and stuff like this too. Because it was inconvenient for them to help me unbutton myself and release myself and stuff like that. This shit was administered in other countries. I told you. This is very difficult to talk to me about this, and I have to go slowly and explain the issue by because it's too many issues. I said to the, yesterday, I'm going to write a complaint. Um, I need somebody. I need, I need probably at least three, four, or five people, maybe even a whole team that will work on, on the book. This, this is giant stuff to go over and and do this stuff and uh, discuss on how and this and that. I did book. And I did a really, really good book, wrote the stuff, but it's just this enormous energy that's necessary. And the more minds, the more 
you know also see it differently and, and so on the better than one mind you know but the thing is that the food products the fda federal food administration department uh, london basically 1-800 london cabal british royals certified literally the food products they they tested like if you had a product somewhere like let's say in india they did that stuff they did that stuff the chetniks did that in in bosnia they did in serbia um in the republika srpska no? Bo occupied part of bosnia they would they would just do the stuff to you and then if they would do the reading and if this would be in line with uh, you know with uh, cancer related whatever expectations that certain people required uh, if the reading would be good more or less not not like this you know but more like neutral uh, they would they would open the market give them a financing maybe for the project's purchase and, and, and that kind of stuff yeah so it, it was a fucking business it was more than human experimentation i actually undermined myself in case you want to know how the hell that went how the readings and stuff like this this is american physicians in congress this senators congress people whatever they were they were assuring the local physicians uh, which one also was doctor that these are always uh, that somehow that always i don't know why that it always will show that always goes by this that always is like this already in 1995 i did not know but i regretfully have to say this crime was more american made uh, than anything else so yeah i i pretty much reject seeing myself in things that people alone who are part of it don't see themselves in uh i don't um I don't settle. I don't. I don't. Um, I'm gonna fucking lobby for any one of you. As for the European Union Parliament in in Brussels, I think the, you are you are a pathetic, sick bastards. You are a sick fox, is what you are. You are not. You are not quite in there. They compared my case here in the side in front of me inside of this room with some fucking movie case of Iron Musk. You know, the guy that somebody did based on some movie book that they put some iron uh, cylinder on his head and uh, he had this for i don't know how long on his head it's completely insane completely sick shit others claim that this is gonna be to play down western expectations as a way of life and bring down more to the level of the russia and then join together with the russias so this is like the same shit like a transfer of american western military technology to the russia would now equalize also sort of some kind of human rights issues and stuff like this coordinate it all together and so on and so forth by the way you do this by the way i look this stuff i am not going to be compliant with you because because of what i stated at the beginning i am not in this world because you brought me you didn't make me over there in brussels or in london or in washington i don't regret visiting i never went to britain 
and never want to go. I always was hijacked there. I can positively tell you that. As much as I went to the United States of America on my own, it was a pathetic act of some people where I got the citizenship in 2000 and is in whose crime I have to decline even today in 2023 to see myself in yeah I know I was told that we're gonna if you're not gonna we're gonna play your stuff down and it's gonna be like unseen and this and that you know Fuck you. That's an answer to a lot of things, but always answer to your issues. That too, I'm gonna say, fuck you. You know why? Because it's not the way of life, but it's the way to survive, basically, because it's the only medication, the only cure to your bullshit, your violence. You're violent. Answer on your violence. You're violent. I don't know how much you realize that, but you are, as much as you are condemning the violence, you are extremely, extremely violent. Paying attention to your violence can also be a great mistake. I think that the biggest problems that royals, talking about the European royals, I'm going to even talking about the European royals. I'm not talking about I'm not talking about the Japanese nor am I talking about uh, Thailandese. I like Japanese and I like Thailandese. They haven't done to me anything that I would This is not my business. These are different cultures, different race different races. Uh, and uh, I am actually happy that that um, that I came across you. I am I am actually I um, I'm quite amazed. You know, I'm quite amazed that that you. Um, That you took took time with me. I'm gonna put it this way. I've seen I've seen stuff. Sometimes also unpleasant stuff happened, but um, I am I I just because because of my wishing you the best. I don't know what destiny you are going to choose. What you are going to do. What how you're gonna pursue you. How you're going to pursue your things. Uh, but I kind of feel that you know. It's going to be a variety in this world. I think the biggest threat, you know, to royalism is a competition. Because I think that when it comes to European, this stuff, royalism, I think these are fucking dinosaurs. Like a dinos. Uh, it's actually a capitalism. Capitalism is... A deadly pill for royalism because it's it's about the competition and the competition doesn't have mercy it, it it will not recognize any kind of titles it will not move out of your way but it's gonna go right through you and destroy you if you just happen so to stand on the way that's all there is to it simple that's why they got rid of it in the U.S. That's why they got rid of it in every country that is a prosperous country. Because they realize that they cannot be governed by the dinos. It can't go this way. You can't have, uh, unless you have in Britain, a special department that can just do whatever the fuck they are pleased. Basically, crime spree 
uh, with opportunity to always hide itself behind issues of firm and institution. Those are the two issues they are using to hide their crime. Uh, under the surface of the British society, basically, which pays them for it all, you know, because I don't think anybody ever was as friendly and accepting toward British as I was. And that's why I say that, that you're going to have a, I think you're going to have a trouble with your dinos because the reputation they have established is a very, very shitty one. Not only in this case, but I think in, in, in many parts in Eastern Europe. It's a very, very shitty reputation. It's, and you're seen rather as an agent, as an espionage agent, uh, you know, quite unwelcome then in any society around the world. People don't feel comfortable with you around them once they start seeing you as such. I think that's probably also what had to do with my case. Other than that, I don't have anything to say. I, I don't know what else I would add. I know that I know that it was more than just I know exactly how it was done. It was all done in Traveno. They have taken some kind of samples. Uh, the sample, I assume it's a blood sample. They claim me that it's gonna be even capable, they're gonna be even capable to determine through the urine the cancer presence in my body. Uh, that's however very 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 possible because of the specific health issues involving it which for which they knew exactly also uh, when compared to the urine how to match them Be so therefore because of the specific case but i don't think that on general that's what is used for the cancer in my case this most definitely probably most definitely applies. I'm pretty certain that that was not a brainwash. But on that, it's some kind of a primitive. It, it appeared to me to be quite primitive based on, on conversation they had in 95 already with American physicians. Principle reading that can demonstrate the level of cancer in one. And as Americans assured, it's always accurate. It's always so this whole crime, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not only coordinated, but it is made in a USA. It's made in 1-800-London Cabal. This cancer, this, this shit. This isn't because necessary. It didn't help me identify people. You didn't, you didn't, you didn't. Is, should I go and identify the the hospitals now and the physicians that were involved in doing this kind of stuff to prove the MK Ultra case, then I don't, what the fuck am I proving then? It's irrational because British claim that I must be quiet about them because even if they wanted to do something militarily, they won't be capable. The best would be to be to keep quiet and fucking quietly die. Everything were in agreement with one another. It's all government, intra-government agreement. The police exploited this. Slovenian police was the most disgusting thing in this MK Ultra. They exploited this issue into oblivion. Something I started earlier and it not finished. The readings. They teach the police officers how to do the readings, how to do this, how to do that. And so what, what they did, they, they, they totally, totally knew based on socks, based on shoes, based on walking on even or not even surface, based on cold, based on hot, based on in which room inside of this house, based on duration of tomato you're going to leave in the fridge, or garlic, or onion, 
duration that you're going to live on the side where you're going to live one fruit everything for every for everything you you have inside of the fridge exposed to different elements including different types of chocolate products sweets therefore all kinds of sweets and so on they know exactly to the last millimeter on what is going to have what kind of impact and so on and so forth yeah with the exercising a complete 100 percent control of the household then you can do a fucking Walt disney magic out of it they tortured to oblivion and I say oblivion to unconscious, basically. Brainwashing me, taking the readings and giving it like take a reading that would demonstrate he, him that I have a high level of cancer presence or whatever, and would start to interpret me so that I would listen to one. Uh, for instance, uh, different issues, basically different issues that would apply what is good and what is not good and what I should and what you should not and so on and so forth. Oftentimes I had to see myself literally through the eyes of the police criminals, not police criminals, but criminals with police badges, investigators that were involved in this torture you I told you I don't see this as a torture I lost 28 years to it literally exampling me that's why I was for a good portion of time I was confused I even came up with idea to claim that it was that they convinced with a such a strength with a such a power that you know that even that police officers got the cancers uh, to help me evaluate uh, what is good and what is bad for me come on fuck it. they did borrowed my blood tests which they have drawn from repeatedly uh as i explained and tested and right there and there saw the readings and how and this and that it was always two three police officers together that they would do this kind of stuff as we if we would go somewhere and it was one police officer that would say the other one hey do him this do him that and it would be this police officer whom i have met six months ago when father left to hospital who would do these readings so they also explained them and demonstrated them to also to do those kind of readings and then and then the bullshit immediately started you know then the bullshit immediately started how the bullshit started they started to demonstrate me on products which they knew uh i'm gonna have to utilize to survive uh on what a negative or positive effect those have on them simple as this um, what positive or negative effect he health effect those have on them yeah This would be potentially deadly for me if I would not have proofs about identifying people and so on. What? Because, well, and they would say the guy is a schizophrenic. You understand what I'm saying? If I hold you drugged up and I'm a police officer and I have in my possession and I give you something for what I know, take a reading and I see that it's producing high level amount of something. And I start talking to you that 
reading certain ingredient or something like that, whether that be frozen banana or some other issue with which they brainwash, they use the YouTubers, all kinds of people to push the ideas. Oh, you you get you get from Mister uh, from Google owners, Google CEOs, you get you get videos based on your account specifications and maybe even ISP provider served right on your desktop for you to see them. You are in a, such a control box that you have no fucking idea. Americans have much more to do with it than what I initially thought. Unfortunately, I have to be, I have to be honest about this crime. If I start telling you that eating this stuff makes me sick, and then I do some shit to you that I get you on that stage that I completely disbalance you and now you have to fight for your survival and probably here and there give you some poison too inside and I keep you in that if you want to say aquarium that space like this window and you're not allowed to move out in and out of it uh, this range then you're going to start to really believe that there was people that wanted to help you out and they got fucked even because of you fucked even because of you is like here on the dam when they when they plotted the stuff that i cut my finger and stuff like this you understand what kind of bullshit this is that's how this stuff was done okay that's how this stuff was done so they exploited these issues to delirium insisting me on directed energy weapons use insisting me on poisoning insisting me on gas poisoning insisting me on deodorant poisoning they did they if you take the crystals from the other um i i always whenever i would apply crystal of deodorant and that never was the case in the us here in europe whenever i would apply uh, deodorant the, the the minerals um, it started to eat my uh, drove me insane basically under the armpits they did poisoned they did they did something i realized i started to wash every time the crystal rinse away with the water and then use it then it's okay so they they were doing this kind of stuff there's no doubt about that that they were doing all kinds of stuff but not to degree not to the level they insisted me and have quite successfully managed to depict me based on the label they have given me in 2013 as a paranoid schizophrenic uh as somebody who sees something that that uh, that doesn't exist yeah so you see without those things i did identify the people and so on i could still be actually even like this in trouble so we are in a world where we have people at the united nations international police association international criminal court especially international criminal court is as murderous as genocidal as anything can be that's his murderous in instrument with people involved in it they would come here to this residence oh when you submit the complaint what happened you would have people coming from all those agencies to assure you that you have no fucking chance no way to survive And would um such in Slovenian language say angajirati say they would they would um in charge themselves to commit torture against you for you to remember recall when you at, even if you attempt to resubmit complaint so that you would not resubmit. Not a good stuff, not a good stuff. So based on what I stated. 
I cannot match in absolutely any way UN Charter of Rights, its post World War II legacy, with what I have experienced on my skin. It also tells me that these people who have done this stuff don't have no intention to stop crime as such, but instead escalate one into the World War III. I think that's what we're going to have. They are only doing this kind of stuff when they're absolutely in complete control of the crime. And they're only doing this kind of stuff, timing-wise in my case, when they are going to escalate one, and it won't even fucking matter whether I stated this to you or not. That's the only thing they are doing based on this kind of issue. They came to the conclusion that they have a good contract with the Russia and Just uh, whatever happened in Ukraine. Okay, so just want to explain to you, maybe I didn't. This was very, very confusing, this kind of stuff, uh, especially because they involved continuous destruction of the personal property based on trespassing to the room and so on. Not a, not a good stuff. Not a good stuff at all. Not a good stuff at all. Not a good stuff at all. Nobody is going to control here anything, anything about my life. Not any of my personal preferences. Nobody is going to condition me with a crime, anything. Not my existence, not anything. I was here before any of the people involved in MK Ultra around here. I'm native from here. This is where I'm from. And absolutely, I don't have absolutely anything against any other people from elsewhere. Exactly the opposite. I planned on international business, international trade. I will not allow anybody to control me, to tell me this and that, how I'm going to be doing this and that and that, so on and so forth. I don't, I don't do this, any kind of stuff like this. You, you, uh, <laughs> this is insane. It was this golden era. The same like people used to go to California to collect gold. Long time these gold diggers traveled across the country in the U.S. to find gold. Then all this national gold, it didn't pay off anymore because they dig one out and so on. This, is, this was the era of Elon Musk. This was the era of Zuckerberg. This was the era of these entrepreneurs from Donald Trump that invested in truly in El Dorado. That's what Asia was. Then the world became even saturated with the money. Today, China is so powerful country that is creating its own Eldorados, is looking around the world where to invest and is promoting technology and, uh, you know, work assignments through their trade, through their needs. Uh, this Back then, this was not a case. It was easy. It was a time when it was every cent you would invest in Asia that would turn into a hundred bucks or more. This across, I don't know, maybe a few years time span. This no longer is the case. This was this time when Europeans, Deutsch, Deutschlanders invested in Asia and delivered on ships across the Europe. For cents, they paid for the labor in Asia, were selling across the Europe for a lot of fucking money. Products. You know, the times when Swiss watches technology started to be manufactured in Asia and sold here for enormous amounts of money. It was stuff like this that went on. Still is, in a way. 
You, you understand the difference? And now you're going to fucking tell me this. If you already compared the money from 95 and 96 and 97, that value of that money probably is investments-wise, market-wise, and geographical, socioeconomic, political influence-wise, you know, this is one cent to dollar, basically. You understand? hundred times maybe less worthy than what it was in 95 and 96 and 97. Those that invested in Asia back then invested in all kinds of developments that go beyond uh, even jobs. They go into the strategical partnerships and so on. So don't ever fucking try to underestimate me to tell me anything about my preferences whatever the preference is i don't like that kind of stuff i don't like any kind of you know or you're gonna you're gonna this and you're gonna see and you're gonna this and that you know these are personal things like god you don't do it money can buy somebody that you destroyed 28 years of life and put him in some kind of a situation and you know staying alive staying alive you know compared to the iron mask and stuff fuck you fuck you sicko motherfuckers you are in brussels and in Strasbourg, in your fucking European Court for Human Rights. You fuckers say you are not, not I'm going to say that you are indifferent from Joseph Stalin. You're a fucking disgrace. The fuck are you? Eh? What, you come here in this house, you came here to me to what? You tell me you took me over there to Germany, to, to, to Britain. For what the fuck you took me there? For what? I just want to know. I just want the answer. What What did you took me there for? For what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. I get it. To stink people for espionage and domestic population and stuff like that too. Yeah, for beatings, for torture and so on. For clips, whatever the fuck you were doing. It. But so what? Because I wanted, because I, from you, something? No. You did not contribute to, to my life in any way. And as you see, you have done something very, very disgusting in 2017 for me not to see myself in you in absolutely any way. You hated me since 1995, and you hated me, you know why? Because I turned my conscience to myself, to my basic needs for your sake. That's why you hate me. That's why you hated me, and that's why you hate me. Police torture to oblivion. Police torture to oblivion. With exactly what I stated, using this kind of instruments, inciting in a paranoia about directed energy, gas attacks, all kinds of stuff like this, insane stuff. Sound. This started with the most stupid stuff, with the sound. It is with the with the sound. They blast you with a, I don't know, sound and kind of stuff, and so on and so forth. When you are tortured to delirium, or you are tortured, when you sleep deprived one week, two weeks, and you are arranging with it next to the lunatics like this, they're doing stuff like this, that they're going to lay down on bed with you, laying down in the bed right next to you, laying down on the floor right next to you. Once I bought this shit in, in this yisk, this, this, um, this, this thing, I remember that too. Um... What is it? The sponge, this bed that you put on the floor. The police investigator told me, now we're going to start sleeping on the floor because you bought this stuff and so on and so forth. So I know exactly what the fuck went on, how, when, and what decisions they were making, how, and this and that. That's how this stuff shit, that's how this stuff went on. I didn't even use Android when, you know, They were demonstrating me how the Android works and this and that and so on and uh, what I should use and the Android, how I should see. So they, they, they create the world. They create like everything around you. You know, three years, 24-7, drugged up, at least walking, not sleeping. Was signed with, of course, they let you also sleep and stuff like this. But walking around, drugged up. They get to know absolutely every detail in your life, 
everything what you do about your house, how it is based and so on. They were coming up with the stuff, the incredible stuff that you possibly could not imagine. I was thinking about this morning about Steve Jobs, about his smartphone, and came to realize that The smartphones were not on the market yet in 95 and in 96. They were not. But the thing about it is that Steve Jobs was nowhere on the market either as any kind of a phone maker or anything like this, any kind of manufacturer of smartphones, or anything, iPhones and stuff like this. Either. So the thing about it is, I also recalled, is that it was the U.S. government this is this machinery behind Elon Musk. This is the machinery behind Zuckerberg about all these so-called entrepreneurs, you know, that claim they have worked on many, 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 many years in developing already smartphones and did not have a success. So what they did was they already started with the cameras and stuff like that. That's one thing, you know, they, they worked maybe... Before releasing a smartphone, United States of America government have probably worked on developing one before they have released one, maybe even 30 years. And I'm not lying to you. 20, if I say, I'm definitely not undermining the information, the official information. If you would go through the classified documents of the U.S. government, you would definitely get 20 years of the past on one little single gadget like this that U.S. government acted probably 30 years they were working before they released the smartphone. It's all kinds of concepts, ideas, and it's a really big, giant general motor industry like element behind all this that is playing. And then they get certain clowns and they market those products through issues that they have used during this gatherings here in our house. Okay, so that's what's new. That's that's I'm telling you basically how they have done all that stuff. How disgusting or not, you know, disgusting or not. Sometimes the stomach turned around when you hear the stuff like this. That that's they're doing stuff on you. You know, in real life, when they're telling you about. Um, that you have to sign the document for your health records to remain private to the certain people where they were taking, you know, pre-employment tests, drug tests, and that kind of stuff. Privacy agreements, you know, disclosure and that kind of stuff, third party and this and that. Uh, heavy subjects when you do shit like this to somebody like this. And what can I say about this stuff? You see, what kind of world that you have created for me? How you violent, how violent U.S. government. You see how violent you are? You see, you see the degree of violence I'm talking about here in this video? How violent you are? They're talking about especially in your language I have noticed in English language, violent, violent. You're so violent that I'm surprised that people are taking it so lightly. I'm surprised. I'm shocked. Not that I would call for violence or anything like this. I absolutely not. But considering the stuff that I stated in this video, what you have done to me, I'm speechless. It was a trip to Mariana Trench when it comes to the United States of America. Trip to Mariana Trench.
I am never going to understand any of it in respect to 2017 that I'm going to have a hard time staying alive. That my performance will match the performance of my 85 year old mom. Never will forgive you for this. We're never going to come anywhere close to one another. I'm willing to let all your money to the motherfucker land. But there's one thing. You are never going to wash the blame for a Nazism, for a fascism, because this is what you are. My claim against you is going to be concentrated on your being a neo-Nazi fascist bastards. Foremost, that's what's going to be concentrated on. You play filthy, you play dirty, you involve all kinds of issues to destroy me through psychiatry. The psychiatry was a product of London, it was a product of Washington DC, which you have sold through me through Slovenian government as something as what was done in Yugoslavia and this and it was done, yeah. It was done. But what can I tell you? What have you learned from this video today? Or did you expect me to talk about Putin or Russia, uh, Stalin, uh, Yugoslavia, how it was and now it's better? You did not expect me to talk about this. You, you expected me just as I, just as I stated. I'm going to perform for you. That's that's what the fuck this was. You are a Nazi, fascist, neo-Nazi swine speaks is what you are. And idea was not only to, the idea was to literally murder me and undermine my right to existence, maybe even the right to existence of the people from here, which they are guilty. They are definitely guilty for what they did. What the people here in Slovenia did. <clears throat> yeah, I agree with it. I totally, totally agree with it. I agree with it. I agree that you have assisted them. I agree that I took off from here in 1995 for better life. That's what the fuck I agree. That's what I agree. I agree that you took extra long. I agree that you invested uh, all your hopes in my death. That's what the fuck I agree. I agree that you are a neo-Nazi swine speaks fascists. That's what I agree. I don't know how much it was about the people here, how much it is, but I definitely know that through me, it's also about them. I definitely am sure that you didn't want me to stick around for too long. That I agree. I agree that you went to bed every fucking night with idea, with hope to see, to read next day news about my being dead. That I can agree. This opinion, however, never ever will change the facts I have presented to you. Also some in this video. That I agree.